I for in. Okay, let's listen to the clip just one more time. O for out. Drag and drop. Crossfade, great transition. Me off of my knees. Okay, let's listen to the clip just one more time. That beautiful frozen man. <laughs> oh boy, my webcam is not having a good day. No, today is not your day. Again, I can drag and drop the whole clip because I already trimmed it in advance. It's already a very neat uh, 15 seconds. Yours should be a very neat one minute 30 to two minutes probably. All right, come on. What's next? What's next? Solid. Again, so much switching, but keep that folder handy. So I'm going to skip ahead to my conclusion. Let's go. For attention. I for in. When you inhale, oftentimes it's a really good cue as a place to start to hit I because you know that you're right about to speak and the sound levels are very quiet, so it makes for a very clean and effective transition. So I hit I. All right. Thank you for this short listening music adventure. I appreciate your attention and your sustained effort. And okay. until next time, cheers. Drag and drop the final clip. And what do we what can we do next to make it a smooth transition? Crossfade. Okay. Now we have the whole clip ready, but there was a problem I said before. I think that the music video that I picked is too loud. So what can we do about that? Hello, everybody. This is a very brief demonstration. As you can see here, the video, the audio levels will hit red. That tends to be a little bit too loud. It will sound a little bit uh, scratchy and just overall unpleasant. So we should try to lower these audio levels a little bit so that they match the commentary. So what can we do? Okay. Okay. So down here we have a, we have a place that says filters, click on filters. And the plus sign is to, yeah, you got it. Add a filter. Now the filter that we should look for should be here under audio. It is called gain slash volume. To the clip. Oh, look at that. That is so much better and it's so much more pleasant on my ears. But the other ones are still a bit loud. So what can we do about this? Ah, so right here, this allows me to copy the set of filters that I have set so that I can easily paste them onto another clip so that that way they can share the same volume. Come on, man, you got it. Oh, they, now we're back. So after you copy the set of filters, the volume filter to the clipboard, click on the individual audio clips you have here and then click on the clipboard. This will paste whatever filters you created onto the other clips. Boom. Right here. Paste it. Bam. Oh, oh that sounds so good. Let's try again over here. Ouch, it's so loud.
Add a filter. No, we're gonna paste. Oh man, easy peasy. Put you right back on your feet, just so you can take advantage of me. All right, thank you for this short listening music adventure. As you can see, the audio levels tend to max out around minus 10. Anywhere between minus 10 and minus 5 is a very good place to maintain your audio levels. And that's it. So hopefully this will help you through your editing process. And again, if you have questions, always feel free to ask Mike or I in class. But until next time, cheers.